Hamlet's childhood friends, yeah. but we, he, we, we die. We die. <laughs> Basically what we do is like we argue with the king about Laertes who should be the king. So it's pretty fun. I'm a Dane and I'm at costume right now. My son's Hamlet and he's pretty disrespectful to us. And I'm just a servant, I guess. Okay, yes, this is, this is the Dane dance. Oh, well, the show's really good. We've all worked really hard, and it's gonna be epic. It's like, probably one of Shakespeare's most famous shows, so you should come and see it. Hello, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to this episode of HMS Today. I'm your host, Farzad Ferdos. Yeah, here we are. We heard your feedback about Tuesdays, and it really was a pain. For us, too. So we're moving back to Fridays. We have all our regular features today. So let's get started with Miss Grady bringing us our middle school update. Thank you, and good morning, HMS. For those of you who celebrated Thanksgiving, I hope you had a chance to reflect on all the things we have to be grateful for. For most of us, it's a great opportunity to connect with family and friends. Last week before we left for the break, we had a chance to put post-its on the word or phrase we would like to reflect who we truly are. I still enjoy seeing those name tags on Chromebooks, covers, and cases. They truly give you an insight into what is important in each individual. Tonight and Saturday evening, the HMS Drama Department will be putting on Hamlet. Make sure you come out to support your friends. There are sure to be many show-stopping surprises. Break a leg to all our actors, actresses, and support staff. Tuesday, December 6, marks the opening of the term two. This is a great time to be reflective on what worked and what didn't work during term one. Set some new goals for yourself. Write them down in a prominent place to remind yourself what you want to achieve. The simple act of writing it down makes it more likely to happen. On that note, make sure you take a moment to say goodbye to your term one related arts teachers. Please thank them for all they have taught you this term. Try your hardest, do your best, be kind to each person you meet. Back to you. Thanks, Ms. Grady, and now let's hear a special announcement. Hi, we are some of the many members of community. Happy December, everyone. Glad to see that the Giving Tree bin is filling up. Thank you to those who have so generously donated. And if you have taken a heart, please bring that item in by December 16th. Also, remember it's not too late to take a heart from the board by the main office. Help us make someone's day and help people in need. Help community and help others. Cool, thanks. Let's move on to a middle school's club. Here we visit the yearbook club. This club has existed for probably five or six years since I've taken over the yearbook and we meet on Thursdays but we are flexible because these guys go and take pictures of all the clubs and activities in the building. Our mission is to help document the student life and teachers too in the yearbook. Our club varies from five to fifteen kids depending on the week. To, to join this club you kind of just need to show up and then sign up and then you'll receive all the emails. One reason why someone would like to join this club is that if they like photography, so they can document and take pictures of every single kid they needed at Hopkinton Middle School. Some things that we do in this club are take pictures of the different activities going on in school, um, and sometimes during the day we'll like take pictures and get a camera from Miss Connor's room, and then we also sort out and organize pictures that we want to put in the yearbook, yearbook and kind of like design how it's going to look. And then you're going to build the yearbook in the spring. Yeah, and then we're going to build the yearbook in the spring. Something we'd like the kids to take away from this club is the independence and knowing that they have the freedom to take photos of any activity going on in the building and the photos that they take represent the club and they end up in the yearbook at the end of the year and then they get to see their final product being signed by all of their friends in June. Good luck this year. I'll be looking forward to the yearbook. All right, now we have the triumphant return of Fun Fact Friday. Yay! Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. That's right, we're back. Did you know that it's said that the English language is the happiest language in the world? Well, also that the word happy is used three times more than the word sad? Well, here's something to be happy about. One new word is added to the English language every two hours. And approximately 4,000 words are added to the English dictionary every year. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. 
That felt good. Fun fact Friday. And now birthdays. We have no birthdays today, but on Sunday, happy birthday to Amelia Senseni and Evan Dudo. Next up, HMS polls. Today's poll is what's your favorite dessert? The top three answers were ice cream, brownies, and then milkshakes. And that brings us to our last segment, Have You Seen This? Here's today's image. Nice to be back on Friday. You have until next Wednesday to find it and send us an email. That's a wrap for this episode. Check us out online at hcam.tv slash hmstv or send comments, suggestions, and have you seen this entries to our email hmstv at hillers.org. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next time with more new stuff. Work and study hard. Did you know that the word happy? Uh, yeah. uh, we do it again, do it again, do it again. I was, I, I'm not ready yet. Do that again, I dare you, I dare yeah. you. Do it again, do it again. Move it. Do it again, I dare you, I dare you. Go with, with Miss Porch. Porch. <laughs> Okay, they are very distracted.